So in my last video, I did a little open water hunting and I had a ton of feedback asking on how I did that. Um, that's all I'm gonna do today. No brush, no timber, just open water. Uh, me and my dad came out here a couple of days ago, didn't film and got some really, really good sized fish. Almost had a three pounder. Um, so I'm out here searching around these creek channels. So what I'm fishing today is where two major creeks come in. It's a, like a fork and these fish just stage up near bait. You won't necessarily find them above bait or under bait, but they are near bait. So I'm looking for some bait and looking for some schools of fish. Um, as soon as I find some, we'll turn the camera on and get after them. All right, guys, I just got on a group of them. They're about 50 feet out right now. Um, what I'm gonna start out using is an MCM hand tie jig. That's just a little natural looking bait. Got a feather tail on it, real low profile. I think these fish are chasing threadfin shad, which are extremely small. So that's what I'm gonna be throwing. Um, let me get up on these guys here. See if I can't catch one of them for y'all. Number one thing you wanna do, go slow. Especially in my neck of woods where the water's a little bit clearer, they can hear, they can see your boat, and they know you're there. Go slow, see if we can't catch some of these big ones. There's our first one. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a good first fish right here. Had a pitch to him two or three times. We had about, I don't know, three inches rain in the last two days. It's a one and a quarter right there. Really good fish. It was a big one with him that I couldn't catch. All right, I found some higher in the water column. And usually I found, you find them high in the water column. Instead of the ones I was fishing was like 20 foot deep. If you find them high in the water column, they more apt to bite. I bet these will bite right here. That jig's right at the top of them right now. That, that didn't take long. That's a pretty good one. Not bad. The bigger schools of fish um, will be a little bit smaller. All right, once again, I'm on some fish. Now these are the big ones. There's only three of them. There's, there's only three fish right here that I picked out in 34 foot of water. So usually, 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 those are bigger. We have big fish, you only got one or two shots before they just decide to leave. They are extremely smart. A bit bigger now there was three fish in that school as compared to that second one i caught there was like 50. now i'm not saying you're not gonna catch big fish in schools it's just what i've been noticing pretty good one one and a quarter but he bit once again big school of fish small fish here, here. They're really sluggish. I mean, they ain't wanting to move at all. I mean, I had to put that on his nose. All right, let's switch my head so you can see. But right here, this is what we're looking at. That's a big school of fish right here. Open water. No timber, no nothing. This is just open water fish right here. And when I see this right here, real bunched up like that, I know it's crappy. They're not moving. They're, they're sitting still. If uh, fish were moving really, really quick, it's not crappy unless they're spooked. Crappy only move really, really quick unless they're spooked. I mean, these fish are sitting still, real bunched up together. I mean, that school is about 12 foot thick. They're about, I don't know, 10 feet wide. I mean, this is a really big school of crappy. I don't expect them to be that big because they're so bunched up. And I think the why, why I have found bigger fish are so low and smaller fish are schooled up because big fish aren't scared of anything. They're not, they don't have to school up to hide from predators. I mean, there's striper catfish in this lake that could eat those crappy. I'll try different retrieves. I'm popping it now. That triggered a strike right there. Like I said, not the biggest fish in the world because they're so schooled up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. Bye. 
All right, I want another school of them right here. Big, big old blobs. That's what I'm looking for right there. There's only about 10 or 15 right here. Should be a little bit better fish if they bite. There's my jig. There's one coming out. Oh man, he came off. No, I don't like losing fish. See what I'm gonna do. Look at that, I cut that tail off. Let's see what happens. Jay's coming in further back this time. Cut that tail off and uh, had something waiting on him. God. I bet that scared them fish. What do you think? All right, so this is fish swimming right here. You can actually see their tails moving if you look close enough. Once they get like that, they get hard to catch. I mean, even harder than what they're being right now. I'll try to get a little momentum going, stop that troll motor off. And I'll try to cast in front of them if I'm gonna keep fishing for these, which I'm probably not. I'm probably gonna move. That's a good one. Oh yeah, a little tree sitting out in the water. That one decided to bite right there. Barely got him. You got a little black spot on your nose, buddy. Dang, about time. I might have figured something out right there. I was popping, stopping, popping, stopping. And it just fired the school up right there. Popping, stopping it. Figuring something out here. He's eating it too. Get out of there. That's a better one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a dandy. Come here. Come here. Uh-uh. 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 Starting to figure these old boys out. They don't want it swimming. That's a good fish. Come here. Babies. These are at least biting. Not the biggest things in the world. That's a little bit better one, not much bigger. All right, I think I got two pretty good ones spotted out here. There are no giants by no means, but better than what I was catching. There's only two. There's two fish right there. I'm gonna see if I can't smack one of these in the face right here. That's one of the bigger ones. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. A little bit better fish right there. 
Not quite as big as I thought it was going to be. There was actually multiple of them there. That's why they looked a little bit bigger. Boom, I already hooked you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Not what I want. I'll take him. He bit, right? Forgot to turn my camera on before the hook's up. That's a dandy. It's going to weigh 175. He's 15 and a half. I said 175, but fish weighs 178. They can see that bait 10 feet away. That's actually a good one. Oh yeah, come here buddy. That's probably hard to kind of tell on camera. I mean, just how decent these fish are. I'm gonna put them against this um, measure board right here. The mouse at zero, close it, close it. Mouse at zero, that's a 12 inch fish right there. Oh, that's a good one. Where did he come from? Oh yeah. Where did you come from, buddy? You came out of nowhere. Hopefully the whole school's about your size. Close your mouth. We can get a good reading on you. 14 inches. Oh, yeah. Ew. Maybe I shouldn't have boat flipped. <laughs> on him I'm about lost him close your mouth that fish is 14 inches That's a tank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta get out and rehook him. Oh 
holding their mouth open. Can't get a good measure on them. He's 12. That's a big one. That may be two. Dang it. Sometimes the big ones bite, sometimes they don't. I was scanning these uh, channels out here in 40 foot of water and I came across this tree right here. And it looks like it's got some pigs on it. Oh yeah, another decent one. Hey, he's gonna be close to 12 inches, I think. Switch to a MCM tackle hand pour jig. They're tough as nails. Right at 12. Oh yeah, here we go. Big old tree. Taking a bone six crappy rod, 12 footer with an eighth ounce because they're a little bit deeper. I'm gonna get down to them. I like some good size ones right there, the edge of it. I'm in 30 foot of water. I'm trying to stay away from them because that one looks kind of big. I think that one's going to be right in his wheelhouse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. I saw you sitting on that tree, buddy. Whoo wee. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. And get the old skill out on this bad boy. I said he's for sure, too. I saw him in the water, but 213, 210. Definitely over two. I think there's one right there. He came out. I should get this one. Another good one. Not as big as the last one. Still a good one. That's not the one I wanted. I saw one sitting on a tree limb out there. I can't quite make it to him. I gotta get it over that limb right there to where they're sitting. Right there, there we go. There should be another good drop. Oh, God. Oh, he had the tail of it. That gummit. I forgot to turn the camera on. God. It was about five this size. Swimming in 50 foot of water. <laughs> Good Lord. 
That's a good one. It's gonna be close to two. Man, I forgot. I stepped up, saw them, and I casted. Forgot to turn the camera on. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be my second two pounder today. Two thirteen. Hover around 213-216. Keep seeing some bigger fish in this area right here. There's one. He sees it. There he is. Oh yeah, I know he was a little bit bigger. The guy called my shot. Here we go. God. He wasn't coming off right there. <laughs> he didn't want to go back. These little guys are tearing it up. I need a little guy. Heck no. God, he bum. He fooled me. Woo wee. Oh my god, that is a giant. That is a giant. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Might be a good one in right there, guys. I can get him out of the net right here. There was two of them sitting down there. Oh yeah. Two on the dot. That fish is 15 inches exactly. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm done. I'm hungry. I'm going to get something to eat. Kind of getting cold. Like a little bit of rain is going to come in. Um, I'm going to show you all the four biggest fish. Well, maybe not the four biggest ones, but I caught three two pounders a day and one that was 189. I'm going to show you the difference between a pound and a half fish and a two pound fish. Most people aren't good at judge. I'm just going to show you actually how big a two pound fish is. I'm going to go over a little recap before they throw the fish in the water. Mainly I used a uh, MCN tackle hand pour jig. It's like a little monkey milk color. Super tough, got a garlic smell to it. And I used one of their hair jigs that he sent me, but he makes different colors than them. So it's just a natural color jig. All right, let's throw some fish. Oh, all right. This is a 189, right there. If I can get that one and a half, this is a one and a half. That is a one and a half pound crappie, right there. Really good fish. That is a 189. Show you the difference in a two pounder and a 150. How much longer that guy is thick too say goodbye to the 150. not too often you can double fist two pounders in south carolina boy biggins right there boys this one was right at two really healthy fish winter time Woo. open water a few timber trees got out here i caught some crappy in 50 foot of water 15 foot down but most of those big females like that right there came off timber in about 35 foot of water it'd be only four or five of them at a time um, guys get out 
wintertime fish. Fish still gotta eat in the wintertime. Look forward to seeing y'all in the water.